right, we've got Christians and Day House here. Questions? Jacob Rudner. Hey, Christian, we've heard that you've added about five five yards to your range. I'm just curious what you did over the off season in terms of strength and conditioning to be able to do that. If you could talk about your process, that'd be great. Yeah, I've definitely just been working hard with my dad, um, along with uh, Michael Turk and Eric, our snapper. Um, I mean, no specific drills so much. It's just the Lord's been working through me and allowing me to kick further. I mean, that's it. Oh. Christian, uh, when when you have um, somebody like yourself that, that that your dad that did play for Arizona State, I mean, obviously, you know, a big reason why why you're a Sun Devil now. But was there any any, any pressure in the beginning to perform, and how satisfying is it right now being the starting kicker, just like your dad was decades ago? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any pressure at all. My dad always just told me just to have fun, um, and that he's definitely just helped me along the way and always pushed me and. It definitely helps me uh, helps me now just to stay calm and keep working harder than ever. That's it. Short hand. Hey, Christian, uh, just curious, how has this offseason, um, in, in terms of your preparation, obviously kind of COVID stuff aside, but how has this offseason been different from you for you from previous ones? Yeah, I think I've just been learning how to warm up better, be more deliberate with my steps, and just focus on hitting them through. That's it. Jacob Christian, uh, what would you say your goals are for, for this year as far as just you knowing that you have the starting role going into the season unlike last year? How, how do you approach this season? Um, I think I want to be perfect inside 40 for sure and just be comfortable inside 52 and in. That's my goals and just do whatever I can for the team. And I just thank them for all the opportunities that they give me in the past and whatever we're going to have looking forward. Oh. Christian, obviously, Brandon Ayuk uh, doesn't leave, leave only a void uh, at wide receiver, but also as a returner. Uh, what's, what's your, uh, what are your early thoughts on the preseason in terms of the quality of returners? I know there are a lot of uh, inexperienced players over there. Uh, do you feel that uh, the return game for Arizona State uh, could be a strength in 2020? Oh, yeah, I definitely think it's a strength. I just don't know enough information about that to talk any further but yeah we got some really solid guys uh jacob yes does it change your preparation for the season at all just knowing that you are going to be the starter like last year you didn't have that opportunity does that change anything preparation wise for you no i don't think so i mean even last year i kind of just you always want to prepare like you're going to be the starter um and just always stay ready so you don't have to get ready and just um Continue to just keep working hard every day. Anyone else? Oh, Zach Keenan. Hey, Christian, just from like a total team standpoint, what can you tell us is different about ASU football this year from last year? Shoot, I mean, I think we're coming in a lot stronger, um, but I don't know too much. I mean, we're just kicking field goals, trying to put them down the middle right now. That's it. All right. Thanks, Christian. Thank you. Thank you.